What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the build of my SV650 here that's doing like a scrambler um, street tracker type vibe. Um, subframes back on. I painted all of this black in the last video. Um, tank and everything's about to go on but first I'm gonna get to these carbs. I re-jetted these and, and um, shimmed the needles and everything like that in an earlier video um, so I'm not gonna go too much into detail here but the last thing I need is bigger pilot jets. Um, I found that mine are too small and that's what's causing my backfiring and low sputtering, I hope at least. Um, so I'm putting new jets in, or new pilot jets into here. Um, and then as I put these back on, I'm putting newer throttle cables because I put on these handlebars and the throttle cables are too short. So I'm gonna get into the carbs first and then I'm gonna be putting the bike back together with everything black. Okay, got these throttle cables put on the bike. Um, the guy at the bike shop gave me these ends for the cables that you screw on and you tighten it on with a screw instead of soldering, which is the proper way to do it. Um, but I told him I'd give these a shot and see how well they go. Um, I am a little bit nervous and apprehensive about these. I feel like they could just pop off and I'll end up stranded on the side of the road. So hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, I'll just put on some proper ends and solder them on. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna button this back up, put the cars back on the bike um, and try and get this thing running again. Got some license plate lights mounted in, just some nice little LED ones that 
actually work as the bolts um, and just wired that in, hardwired it in pretty much if I ever want to take this license plate off, we gotta cut those wires, but um, at least it looks nice and clean. So here's how it's looking, all painted black. I think this cleans up the look a lot. I like how it looks. I did love the polished tank look, but I think black is kind of, I don't know, it just ties everything back together. Looks really clean, um, looks solid. So for most of the body stuff that is done, um, there's a few things I'm still gonna fabricate for this bike that'll pull it all together. I'm gonna to get to that a little bit later. For now, I've got some leaking coming from the clutch cover, the outer clutch cover, which apparently what happens is if you tighten these too much, they it like warps the cover and it doesn't seal properly. So I'm just gonna take this off and put some RTV um, in there. So that should hopefully seal up the oil leak. So there's been a little bit of a gap here with the SV650. I've been working on some other projects. Um, this Challenger, for example. I mean, I've been working with the boys on a whole bunch of different stuff in the shop and it's going really well. Um, but the SV650 has kind of sat like this for the last little bit. Um, and I've wanted to do a skid plate slash belly pan for the last little while. I've never really liked this area of the SV. I think they're kind of lacking. Got so much weight everywhere and then it's like this big gap here um, behind the front wheel and just like a big ugly exhaust so i wanted to make some, kind of like a skid plate belly pan it's gonna sit kind of come up here i've been designing it in fusion 360 here i'll show you the designs um so my brother's been helping me do this design i'm very new at fusion but he's a pro and um i think this will look pretty cool just out of aluminum i'll probably still have to make some tweaks to this and then the second thing that I'm working on is a whole new seat and subframe setup actually a lot of people have been reaching out to me asking if I would make them a subframe um, and which I know a lot of people are doing this to SV 650s now they're perfectly suited for it um, such good bikes to modify but obviously the hardest part is to do this whole subframe because it requires quite a bit of fabrication so I've wanted to do a new subframe design already anyways i want to do one out of 316 aluminum sheet i think it'll be lighter a um, bit simpler and i actually think it'll look better on the bike than this and the bonus is that i can make multiple of them much more uh, simply so i've been more my brother has been designing that on fusion 360 as well um, basically it'll be it'll wrap around here the back i don't know i'll show you the design you can see how it'll all look and then what I'm doing is I've taken that design, printed it out on some paper here, and you can see here is the design in life size. And what I can do with this is cut it out. I'm actually gonna put it on some cardboard, um, cut it all out into life size pieces, put it on the bike, see how it looks. Um, here's the skid plate. Probably have to tweak this a little bit, but here it is. So I'm gonna cut all this out, put it on the bike, see how it looks. That way, if I wanna make some more design tweaks, I can. Um, and then once it's all good and I like it, then I'm going to send it off um, to get laser cut or plasma cut out of aluminum and we'll see how that fits the bike. Thank you. 
Okay, so I've made some tweaks to the subframe and to the skid plate prototypes, um, mostly changing the angle of the subframe, exactly how I want that to sit. I've also got to account for that I'm gonna have a seat on top of that too. Um, but I think I like this angle and where that's gonna go, so then I've just basically got to fill um, this gap where it, um, where it kind of meets the tank and change just the bolt position where that mounts. Um, when it comes to the skid plate itself, I brought, um, I made it a lot thinner Brought these through a lot higher, um, made a little notch back there for the exhaust clamp bolt. And then I'm also going to do a hole here so you can still do your oil changes with this on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go through into Fusion 360, update these prototypes, test them again, and then hopefully soon be able to get them plasma cut out of some aluminum and get a real working version on the bike. So that's it for this episode of the SV650. I just wanted to get something out there for you so you could see the update of what it looked like all painted black. Um, and then I know I pretty much like finished it, painted it, and then tore it straight apart so that I could redo it. Um, but a lot of that's just so that I can um, have the bike for one, how I want it, and for two, be able to make parts for other people. So um, if there is a pretty big demand, like if you're looking for parts for your SV, for example, let me know what it is that you're looking for and I'll do my best to accommodate. Or if there's certain like design aspects that you like, um, I'm super open to input on designing these parts. Ultimately, it will be what I think is the coolest part for these SVs. But um, yeah, I wanna hear what other people think as well. So let me know. Hopefully the next video to come soon where I can actually make these parts out of some metal, get them on the bike and prototype it to see how it's gonna work.